We are starting uh, the week off with the rain and snow mix across parts of western Washington. Right now, a winter weather advisory is in effect for western Whatcom and Skagit counties. We are also tracking a winter storm warning for the Cascade Mountains. We've got team coverage this morning for you. King 5's Farah Jadron is tracking the conditions along Snoqualmie Pass. And King 5's Kayla Lafferty is driving on the roads near Bellingham. But first, let's get with Rich with your forecast. Rich. Well, we're winding things down actually this morning, but uh, we're not done with this as it's going to be plaguing us all week, being in this uh, marginal area where it can be rain or snow, even in the lowlands. Mainly just rain in the lowlands right now. You can see that kind of odd strip of uh, shower stretching from up there from the San Juans down along that I-5 corridor once it gets down around Seattle and then out towards the foothills. Getting a little bit closer, you can see we do have a pretty heavy, hefty shower that's kind of moving through there right now, and uh, you might see some local areas of wet snow making it down to sea level in the really heavy showers but uh, that'll end pretty quickly it doesn't move very won't stick around for very long overall we'll have those mixed rain and snow showers around this morning those should wrap up turning partly sunny this afternoon winds are going to kick up later this morning and uh, through the afternoon they're basically about everett northward out of the north and we'll look for highs only in the mid 30s to the low 40s today it does look like another chance that some rain or snow headed our way as we head towards later tuesday especially tuesday night into wednesday we'll talk about that coming up in just a few minutes and it could be slow going for drivers heading over Snoqualmie Pass today. A winter storm warning is in effect until 10 a.m. King 5's Farah Jadron is live at Snoqualmie Pass with the very latest conditions there. Farah, it's snowing. Good morning, Christine. It is snowing, and for me, I guess my gauge to tell you it's sticking, it's staying in my hair, and it's so dark that you can see it piling up there. Uh, it is fluffy when it comes down, and it stays here. This is at the West Summit pull-off from uh, I-90, but once you're on the road, we saw and felt the snowpack, so here and there, you're going to see some cars still coming over here, but the posted recommended speed limit was at about 35 miles per hour, so that tells you they want you to be careful. Oversized loads are not allowed on the uh, the pass. You can have semi trucks still going over, but we did see quite a few pulled off on the side having some issues. We saw one being towed off of the pass. So that again just tells you how serious the conditions are here uh, this morning. Um, in addition to having those issues out there, they're going to tell you that chains are required unless you have all wheel drive. So that's a part of the issue. A part of the reason we saw a lot of semi trucks pulled over. Maybe they're trying to hold off on putting on those chains and seeing if any of those recommendations or requirements uh, change. This is that hard pack. Uh, once you have enough tires going over, you're going to have this hard feeling and that bumpiness from the tire treads on your commute or your holiday travel. So keep that in mind. Give yourself some extra time. It's staying chilly here under 30 degrees. We're or uh, below 30 degrees, that is. So you're still going to have chances for ice where it's slushy, chances uh, for ice under your snowpack. We've seen a lot of uh, t uh, plows going, I was going to say tow trucks. We have seen a few of those, but a lot of plows going over the pass. So they are working on it. They are staying on top of it. But just keep in mind, as it continues to fall and accumulates, we're going to see these conditions here. Live on Snoqualmie Pass, Farah Jadron, King 5 News. All right, Farah, thank you for that update. And King 5's Kayla Lafferty is tracking conditions in the North Sound. So, Kayla, there's that winter weather advisory because weather could cause some problems during the morning commute, especially around north of Everett. What are you seeing right now? Well, Christine, we're not seeing a whole lot, same as we've been experiencing all morning long. Uh, we're kind of approaching Stanwood this morning, and you can see just wet roadways, some spots with puddles on the road, stuff like that, but pretty much all the way from Everett North to Bellingham. We haven't seen anything but fog that would cause problems for your morning commute, but the National Weather Service issued a winter weather advisory for Western Whatcom County and Western Skagit County through 10 a.m. this morning. The advisory is for a rain-snow mix in the early Early morning hours. The National Weather Service said this has been issued not because of high accumulations or any sort of accumulation at all, but because it is during the morning commute. So they just want to make sure that drivers are taking their time and being careful uh, out there this morning. So yeah, we've been keeping track of it all morning long, really not seeing too much. So that's really great news if you're heading anywhere north of Seattle this morning, but I'll send it back to you, Christine. All right, Kayla, stay safe out there. Now, cold weather shelters are opening up as well. In Snohomish County, six shelters are open and plan to stay open for the rest of the week and since temperatures are expected to be at or below freezing. Volunteers of America operates two shelters, one in Monroe and another in Snohomish. Organizers say this week's cold weather seems to have hit earlier than usual. We get into cold stretches like this that we're seeing. We really don't see that until January or February most seasons. 
About 1,200 people experiencing homelessness have been counted in Snohomish County. That is more than any time in the past decade. The county is planning to open more shelter beds at two motels that it plans to buy.